Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth World Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from now to the end of January 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your first card. What is the message for Capricorn please? Money and career only, thank you. Angel Spirits Guides, now to the end of January 2021 please. Thank you, that card fell out so let's go with it. We have, oh my, <laughs> didn't you get this before in a reading? I'm sure I've seen this before. A little look, good luck. <laughs> um, I really like that image and see the cat with a crown. It definitely feels for some of you that it's divinely guided. I mean, it feels very much Wheel of Fortune energy. Something, it feels like obstacles being removed, synchronicities happening. You know, it might well be for some of you, you know, that things just seem to happen automatically beyond your control this month. And you kind of think, how weird is that? What a coincidence. How strange that that just happened and that fell into place. And if this hadn't happened, then I wouldn't be in this position. Do you know, do you understand what I'm saying, Capricorn? Is that kind of energy. For example, if you were, if you were going for some opportunity and I'm not just saying this is the only reason but what I'm getting is if you were going for some opportunity and there was a favorite you were pitted against somebody who was more likely to get uh, the job or the promotion then for some of you this it feels like that kind of situation where they might be offered another job and might leave you know it's it's that kind of energy where something happens and luck is on your side coincidences a grander force at play so it definitely feels that you've definitely got some luck on your side there very beautiful so i'm going to pull three cards first card is your your issue or challenge in money and career now to the end of january 2021 second card is advice from spirit third card is the outcome should you take the advice and then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody capricorn so just take what resonates with you so what do we have for capricorn please angel spirits guides money and career only please now to the end of january 2021 so i have the eight of cups in your challenge position we have the Page of Swords and the Eight of Swords here, Capricorn. Okay. Let's clarify these cards and go deeper into the message. Let me just straighten them out. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn, please? Money and career only, thank you. Angel Spirits Guides. Now to the end of January 2021. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Capricorn? No, it's not falling out, so let's carry on. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you. That's falling out. Okay. So, oh, interesting. So we have the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Coins. Page of Swords. Capricorn is clarified with the Ten of Cups and the Eight of Swords. <laughs> clarified by the nine of cups oh my goodness judgment okay capricorn okay So, the Eight of Cups, this is the challenge position, so this can be about walking away from something, but it's towards something better. 
And it's so interesting how these cards are working. Sag I say, what did I say Sagittarius for? You might be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, the Eight of Cups is one less than the Nine of Cups, which is getting your heart's desire, your hopes, dreams and wishes coming true. So definitely feels there's an energy here, Capricorn, with this Eight of Cups. This person is walking away from something, but they're walking towards something better. Um, and it might well be that this has been a transition for you. You might have walked away from something. Um, again, it might. The Eight of Cups is something that is one hundred isn't one hundred and ten percent satisfactory. Something that doesn't fulfil you. Something that doesn't bring you your heart's desire you know the nine of cups does and here you are you're walking towards the ninth cup the ace of cups which is a new beginning so it feels for some of you 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 have the opportunity or maybe the challenge is to walk away from something that doesn't serve you or doesn't uplift you or something that you don't feel connected to anymore because you want something better and this eight of ace of cups is that missing piece energy it is the energy of the ninth cup walking towards greater joy happiness fulfillment and it feels in terms of your money and career because the knight of coins is linked with this ace of cups somebody who is making you an offer It's interesting because in the challenge position is you don't know whether you want to walk away. Both of these cards here can be energies of being stuck because this is the challenge and this is the mental energy, the Eight of Swords, being stuck, inhibited thinking. Do I go for this now? There's definitely some kind of opportunity that will bring you great joy, that will bring you your heart's desire. Most definitely. I see this linked with the Nine of Cups. But it might well be, for some of you, that this might not be expected. Something might... Something might be causing you to think, making you think, do I want this? Do I want this new beginning? Do I want this offer or an opportunity? I mean, the Knight of Coins can be somebody making you a job offer. Um, somebody offering you a job. And can also be to do with um, client contracts or a contract or client wins you know it can be that kind of energy as well or a new business win but it definitely feels that it's to do with a new beginning so it could be a new company a new beginning and you don't know if you want to walk away this is all part of the look that's happening around you at the moment it feels very beautiful so interesting energy here capricorn because the Page of Swords is, let's clarify this Page of Swords. Let's clarify this Page of Swords in the Advice from Spirit. Okay, so yeah, it, it feels with the Six of Cups, it might well be there's news from a past company that you might have worked for or somebody who you may have worked with bringing in some news communication. It could be to do with this offer, Capricorn. And again, this Ten of Cups is, I mean, it's a card of, of bless, rainbow of blessings for you, your family, your home. Um, it's a card of productivity paying off, hard work paying off. So the hard work you're putting into relationships, the hard work you're putting into providing for the family, pro providing financially for your family, the blissful setting, the home, the house, you know, that kind of energy. Um, it is feeling completely fulfilled on every level 
and again the six of cups it's interesting i'm getting this energy of it, it could be news from somebody that you've worked with from the past or it could be a past company getting in contact and you're kind of thinking do i really want to leave where I'm at to move, to bring change to this situation. And I get this energy of this inhibited thinking. I don't know. I can't make my mind up. And it's to do with the Nine of Cups. Your heart's desire, your wish coming true, uh, being fulfilled on every level. It's a celebratory energy. But again, this Eight of Swords is, I don't know if I want it. It's everything that I want. It's the, it feels like a job of your dreams. It might well be they're giving you some kind of pay rise or that kind of energy, um, Capricorn. But in this energy, it just feels like you don't know what to do. This is the mind keeping you prisoner, prisoner thinking of the negative um, or being caught off guard so much that you don't know where to place your focus. You can't quite make your mind up. It definitely feels like it's difficult. You need to make your mind up in this situation. Because this judgment card, you know, is a card of, there is celebration here. Sometimes you see the trumpets. Um, something is, and it feels like some karmic decision here that you need to make. And it's a decision that may come very unexpectedly. This news, this communication, this conversation may be very unexpected, which is why it's throwing you off guard a little bit, which is why, you, you know, your mind is a little bit in chaos at the moment because this judgment card is a decision needs to be made very, very quickly to do with this opportunity. It's either to do with somebody from the past that you know or you've worked with before maybe or has known you before. It can also be to do with, um, like I said, a past company getting in contact and offering you something, offering you your dream job. It's your dream job, but you don't know if you want it. You don't know if you're ready to move forward. And it definitely feels like some there's some decision that needs to be made very quickly. So you can either stay on the current path that you're on and not walk away from one job or you can embrace this new beginning because it feels very much to do with, you know, a hope, dream, wish, or maybe a hope, dream, wish that you once had. So that's the look coming your way. It feels in this energy very promising, Capricorn, I have to say, but um, I think, I feel it's going to ca catch you off guard. I feel it's going to be quite unexpected. And it might, you know, you being an earth sign, you know, you like to know all the facts of the situation. You like to take your time in making decisions, choices. You like to plan your future. And this might just completely throw you off guard a little bit. But nevertheless, it, is, it definitely feels like some kind of dream opportunity. And it's linked with little luck coming your way. And like I said, these things happen for a reason. You might just coincidentally bump into somebody who you might have met before or worked with before. You know, it's that kind of energy, the good luck energy. You know, things just happening coincidentally and it's leading to some significant change in your life. But I definitely feel it's, it's a beautiful change. Um, but I guess that's then energy of you just needing to evaluate what you want to do. Let's pull one more advice card for you, Capricorn. Any other advice for Capricorn, please? Any other advice for Capricorn? Yeah. <laughs> I've got the fool. Take a chance, take a leap of faith, you know? That's what the fool is. It's the powerful new beginning. Um... Yeah, it's, it's a lovely energy. So, yeah, there you go, Capricorn. It feels very beautiful. And, you know, it's interesting. That's what I'm getting as well with this. The Fool is Uranus. The It's ruled by the planet of Uranus. And Uranus can be about sudden change. <laughs> I definitely feel there's a sense of the unexpected. All of a sudden, something is requiring a call to action here. 
and you have a choice between two paths. So, and you'll have to act quickly because I feel somebody will want a decision very quickly. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn, please? It's a final message. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, we have Tiger, Divine Timing. Good things come to those who wait. I mean, it's interesting energy, but I, I kind of think this luck is divine timing. Um, I don't see the waiting so much as something may be unexpected causing you to be off guard. But it's all part of divine timing, a new path opening up for you. So it's very beautiful energy, Capricorn. Oh, it's interesting. Bottom of this deck. <laughs> I've got the ladybird. Look. All of your manifesting positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard. You know, Capricorn, something is happening for you now to the end of January. It feels very beautiful, but I, I sense this energy of sudden, something suddenly happening. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.